From little critters to CalPERS, uh, the big California public pension fund. Uh, you know, we talk about sometimes wasting your money on these animal studies. This is the case where the investment officer of, of, of CalPERS is justifying losing millions on green investments. Just, just listen to this. For CalPERS, uh, clean tech investing has got an L curve for lose. <laughs> and I have to say that our experience is that this, this has been a noble way to lose money. And we're not here to lose money. So what do you do? You're going to stop? Well, we have, we have dialed back. I want you to hear that again. A noble way to lose money. And it might very well be, but you're still losing money, which Michelle Fields gets me back to the premise we were getting into with the snails and the ducks and all the rest. Uh, whatever the interest, there's got to be sort of a, a, a financial upside and a reward for doing this. Because in the end, you can't do this sort of stuff unless there is. And, and, and whatever its noble cause, if it doesn't pan out financially, it's not really worth it, especially in this environment. Exactly. Since when is it noble or funny to lose other people's money? It's absolutely ridiculous. And they finally admitted that they, their holdings in green energy companies have resulted in hundreds of millions of dollars in losses. And what makes this even more frustrating is that they also decided to sell off their more financially sound uh, holdings, which was in uh, gun manufacturers. Because you know why? That doesn't go along with their political beliefs. And so they're investing basically politically instead of worrying about what the stakeholders concerns are and interests are you know uh, there is this sense too that you know green investments down the road bear fruit not immediate fruit but they I'm not talking fruit flies but but actual money they make money down the road and then and just you wait and you'll see that this is a, a good investment but if you've been doing this sort of investment and compounding it and doubling up and tripling up and quadrupling and you have still not seen anything for it. At the very least, your respective shareholders, your members, have a right to demand you at least adjust your, your strategy. Oh, absolutely. But this has been their strategy the entire time. This is political investment. They have all of these ridiculous rules. And uh, one of the rules that they have is that they won't invest in any shares of a company whose countries that have labor laws that they don't agree with. And we saw them make a huge mistake in 2004 when they decided that they wanted to help out California's real estate industry and invested so much money into it at the height of the bubble from 2004 to 2006. So these are clearly political investments. They just want to invest, which is basically subsidizing these leftist groups and companies. You know, when you tell people you're going to lose money, but you're going to thank me for it later because either we're saving the planet or we're getting to the bottom of the fruit flies sex life and what attracts uh, him to other fruit flies, uh, you're, you're more or less telling folks deal with losing money because what you're doing here, what we're doing here is important. And I, I take nothing away from the fact that it might very, very well be, but it's sort of like when we had the, the, the internet craze and I would talk to these young guys running these internet companies, many young enough to be my kid, saying, well, you know, Mr. Cavuto, I, I, profits don't matter. Making money doesn't matter. And that's when I knew, and I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, Michelle, that this was a bubble uh, because when we lose sight of the fact that making money doesn't matter, uh, game over. Look, if you want to invest your money where your political beliefs are, that's fine, but not with other people's money. And when they have losses, guess what, guess what happens? Taxpayers are on the hook. They're the ones who have to pay for all of this. The two major pension funds in California are $165 billion underfunded. That is not okay for them to be spending all of this money and investing it in companies that aren't going to provide a return. That's an absolute disrespectful move on the part of uh, these people. Well, it is indeed. In a, a way, we just wanted pe people to think at the end of this week of the lunacy of what's going on. Uh, Michelle, thank you very much. <laughs>